Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sarah Lisa, and there is a serious amount of snow behind me, which means it is absolutely time to start Christmas thrifting. I'm so excited to head out, hopefully early before everyone else has gone and picked all over the store. So come on with me and let's go Christmas thrifting. <music> I started things off a bit differently this week and started at the Pet Save instead of starting at the Value Village because these guys just do such a great job. With Christmas, I was excited to go there first. This piece looked super old and some of the threads were coming apart, but it was beautiful, completely handmade. Had little um, pin tucks all the way around so that I think you could um, put wooden dowels through it and hang it on your wall. I'm kind of thinking about starting a snow globe collection, although I definitely don't need another Christmas collection. Um, this one does tempt me, not this one in particular, but um, starting a snow globe collection does tempt me. I'm sure I could find lots of really good ones over the years. I got the best Santa Claus sort of light up display here a couple years ago and I've never found one as good. I still treasure the one I have. Anything hand painted and having a cottage vibe always appeals to me. This nativity set was really cool. They had really brightly colored outfits on the three wise men and I was just checking to make sure they still had baby Jesus, but I decided to stick with the nativity that I already have. That's part of the fun of thrifting is sometimes when you find something that you already have but you like it more, you can re-donate what you already have and switch it up for something new. But this one didn't quite check all the boxes for me. How fun would this be if you have a pink and white theme holiday decor in your home? Let me know in the comments below if you color coordinate your tree and your home. I sort of just do an anything goes with sort of an undertone of cottage goodness in my house, but I know a lot of people have really specific colors. This was just a really great way to start off the Christmas holiday decor season and have a look around, see what was new on the shelves. It is going to be a beautiful Christmas season and I'm just so excited. I could pop into these stores every single week and sometimes not even buy anything, but just appreciate things and have a look around. It really is a lovely way to spend the afternoon. They had so many good tree toppers in lovely condition here. But again, I'm happy with the tree topper that I already have. If I ever see an upgrade, I'll just go for it.
these candlestick holders were so cute, they ticked the box of Naked Angel Baby and they spelled out the word joy. I do have a small collection of Wedgwood myself. I just don't think I would have anywhere to put a Christmas plate in Wedgwood. Let me know if you collect these. I know a lot of people do. I'm still on the hunt for a set of chargers. I want a really large set and I think a silver base. None of these quite worked with what I wanted this year, but it is a fantastic time of year to find chargers. They seem to have so many and some really large size sets as well. How fun is that snowman? I thought this hook rug could have been really neat. I wanted to unroll it, but I couldn't. Things are starting to get expensive. That was a cool set, but it's $18. And this lamp was really great as well, but they had over a hundred dollars on it, so I left it behind. I'm skipping straight over to the Value Village that I often frequent and wanted to see what they had put out new in the Christmas sections as well. Not Christmas at all, but this tray was made with wicker. It was from Germany and I almost took it home and saved it for next year, but I decided against it at the last minute. I think I'm gonna more enjoy finding spring things for spring when it's actually spring. Okay, I don't know if this was a tree, a tree topper, an ornament, but um, her proportions were completely wrong. Super fun to find handmade items. Somebody really worked hard on this and it was quite beautiful. This, on the other hand, was not beautiful, but I hope it makes its way into someone's home this year because it did make me smile. Again, with the prices, this was a really cute vintage nativity set, but when you look a little closer, they actually had a price tag on it that was higher than the original price. That was so much fun. I love the holiday season and I love that I can start my Christmas thrifting early this year. Let me know in the comments if you have found anything good this year for your seasonal Christmas home decor. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.